it's coming! I freaking love it. Squishy heaven. This morning's breakfast. Bella, why do you always insist on sitting on the outside of the window ledge? Bella. Bella. We are so high up. Sorry I didn't get a chance to vlog much this morning. I think you got a shot of my cereal and that was about it. And then obviously just been working for the rest of today. Uh, back home now. Um, excuse the state of my hair. It's not greasy, I promise. It's got a treatment on it. I've been trying to vlog and speak to you guys for a few attempts now, but I've still got that issue I had on Sunday where I just can't talk and I can't get my words out. So instead of talking absolute tribe, I'm gonna go to the shop now and um, yeah, do that. And I might speak to you later. If not, it might just be Tuesday because today, I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> I've got an issue with losing things out of my pocket where I put my mobile phone into my pocket, pull it out and then things drop out. So, so far I've lost a bank card. Oh man, toilet roll in the road. I've lost a bank card. 30 pounds fell out of my pocket and a nice couple gave it back to me. Um, I've lost my camera. Oh my God. I've lost my camera um, lens cap. And I just took my phone out of my pocket and dropped another bank card, but thankfully noticed and picked it up. I've got to stop doing that. I'm a nightmare. Just taking a little moment to appreciate my lucky cat. Mum and Dad bought this back from Hong Kong, and whenever I walk past the window, he's like saying, Hey, he just makes us smile so much. Hey, lucky cat. Oh, this is an exciting delivery. I'm lucky enough to be working with the people over at Panda Life and they've sent me a new memory foam bamboo pillow and I'm really excited because I'm not sleeping at all well at the moment um, on the pillows that I've got. So this excites me because tonight I am going to get a good night's sleep. Squishy heaven. Ooh. It is quarter past ten. And I'm just sat here editing some photos and Scott is doing his work and that's as exciting as our Tuesday night has got. <laughs> Did go for a jog earlier though and we've just been sat working ever since. Um, yeah, not particularly exciting week at the moment but got a few things on at the weekend. Before I left today I just wanted to tell you about my amazing night's sleep last night. I was a little bit dubious because I have tried memory foam pillows before and they've always been a bit of a no-go but this one has been the only one that I've felt like I've had a really decent night's sleep on. It has only been one night though so we'll see how we go tonight and for the rest of the week but so far so good with the panda pillow. What is this situation? I've got all this new hair growth. I've got all these like little bits and pieces up here and then just all this like fluffy stuff so I don't know if that's the Olaplex doing that or it's the two litres of water I'm drinking every day I'm not sure but it's weird <laughs> and it's new I'm not sure if I like it <laughs> and this is the panda pillow how cute is little panda face I love it so I think it's got three layers of memory foam in it but you can see oh, how quickly it bounces back it's lovely really good night's sleep on that last night hey Bella morning I was just trying to be a good uh, YouTuber and get some transition shots and I realised I was just driving with no music on and who does that? It's coming! Snow is coming! I know some people hate it but I don't. I freaking love it. Um, my phone is telling me that as of tomorrow, Thursday, there is going to be snowflakes all day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be so disappointed if I am not editing a snowman on this weekly vlog. My sledge is in the garage ready, I've got bobble hats, I've got earmuffs, I've got scarves, I've got gloves, oh my goodness, I've got a GoPro. Fingers crossed, snow is coming. Uh, apologies to anyone that doesn't like snow, but tough titties, I love it. I wanted to tell you about Derek. Derek is my 87 year old neighbour. He still drives, he potters around, does all of his jobs. He goes to the Blue Ball pub every Wednesday and Saturday night, predictably. 
Um, but Derek doesn't have any immediate family. And just coming out this morning, I just caught him on his way back from Morrison's with his shopping. And the only thing he's struggling with at the moment is getting up and down the stairs with his shopping. So it just took me five minutes just to have a quick chat with him, take his shopping up for him, make sure he got in okay. Um, yeah, simple, five minutes. Now I see Derek as family myself now. He's been in my life for 10 years. I help him out, not because, um, I'm not telling you this because I want any thanks or I want big headed or well, well done you, you, you help an old man take his shopping up. I'm saying this because if there's any elderly people that live near you that perhaps don't have family or they just perhaps a little bit too proud to ask for help and you just see them struggling with their shopping and just need a little bit of help or just generally walking past it doesn't take much just to offer a help and a hand for five minutes just to say hello just have a quick chat with them because you might be the only people they speak to all day like I say I'm not saying this because I want a pat on the back I'm saying this because if there's any elderly people around you that you could help please just spend five minutes doing so. This doesn't take long. We've all got busy lives, I know, but it doesn't take long. It'll be enough to put a smile on their faces for the rest of the day, you just giving them a helping hand. Of course, obviously, if they're really, really proud and they tell you to bugger off and um, to leave them alone, then, then do so. <laughs> but I just felt like I wanted to say that. By the way, you do things to my body, didn't know that I honestly feel like today has been the longest day ever. I'm going to meet Scott after he finishes work at nine because it's the Outline Christmas Party. Actually, let me just pop you down. It's the Outline Christmas Party tonight. The Outline is a, a magazine which Scott designs. So they've got their Christmas party tonight at nine. So I think I'm gonna have an early dinner. Not quite sure what yet. And then go and to the gym. Do I wanna go to the gym? I don't think I do want to go to the gym, but I think I should go to the gym. Plus, where is the snow? Early evening, zero snow. We need the snow, we need the snow, we need the snow in my life. So I've got some questionable pasta, which I found in the freezer, but I'm not sure if it's been defrosted and then frozen again. I might just pop that in the microwave. I think it's a pasta bake I made a while ago. Looks a little sketchy. I think it might be okay heated up though. Well, I've made it to the gym, and when I say the gym, I'm in the gym car park. I don't want to go in. It's cold away outside. I don't want to move. I stole the car. Oh. I mustered up the uh, energy to actually get my fat ass out of the car and into said gymnasium. And I was good. I'm still doing my couch 5K, so as it's cold and wet and windy, I thought I'd do it tonight on the treadmill. So I feel good for that. It amazes me how people cannot work car parks and barriers. Oh, can I get through as well? Two for the price of one. I'm not gonna lie, I'd much rather be heading home and putting my head onto my nice new panda pillow. But yes, heading into Norwich now and gonna meet Scott and the Outline crew at the Rumsey Wells. I think they've got some kind of quiz thing going on. I'm hoping that by the time I get there, the quiz will have finished because I am a crap at quizzes. <laughs> Need to dig out the sledge. The snow is here. <laughs> there is actual snow in my car. There's a little bit of snow on my bobble hair. <laughs> Bye husband! I got given this as a present today. I'm not quite sure what my father-in-law is suggesting here, whether I have too many photos taken. So what's the first thing I'm going to do? Take a selfie and put it on Instagram. Thank you very much dad. <laughs> So 
So I'm just heading into town now to go and see a lady called Jo. She's a personal trainer and a nutrition specialist and she's got a drop-in clinic today so I'm just going to pop in have a quick 30 minute chat with her get some tips on nutrition and my fitness for the year ahead and um, yeah hopefully she'll put me in the right direction I'll pop a link down below of her uh, website and what she can offer and I'll let you know how I get on when I get back we bought some new headphones to go running with they're um, Philips Bluetooth ones so we can just use them with our watches and not have to take our phones out with us and uh, yeah, great, used them once, fantastic. And then this happened. That's a bag of rice. I managed to put mine in the washing machine. And yeah. It was really interesting meeting with Jo. She gave me some really good tips on both exercise and nutrition. And she's gonna be writing a nutrition plan for me, which I can't wait to get started on. I've gotta go in next week, at the beginning of next week, and have all my measurements done. And she's gonna put everything together for me so I can get started. Um, yeah, it was it was good. So I'm looking forward to getting started with that, coupled with the Couch to 5K program I'm doing on my phone and some gym work. I should be bikini ready for the holiday that I don't have booked. It is time to go shopping with my best friend, Lynn, and buy a shitload of stuff. Blue 41, red 15, red number 1, blue 51. Guest vlogger Scott LaRock hijacking Laura Ellen Wright's YouTube channel after a very unsuccessful night of bingo. Now waiting for the window to defrost. <laughs> Drunk. At a pint and a half. So let him make a bingo. He's in her shoes. We're so sad. A lovely day in Braintree today. Although a little bit disappointed in some of the shops, I did buy a present for my sister's birthday, which I quite like and kind of want to keep for myself, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to be good and keep it for her. Um, yes, we also got some running shoes and I got some running gloves. Um, but yeah, I wasn't that impressed with the other shops, so I've got Bista on my list next. I was meant to finish this vlog with a nice full face of makeup on and my hair all nice, but that hasn't happened. I've got my Frisco jumper on, my hair was caught in the rain today, and I've already washed my face, so, nah. Um, thank you so much for watching again this week. I've really enjoyed vlogging and I had some lovely comments uh, from last week. So um, feel free to comment down below or ask any questions. I'm going to pop a little subscribe button up here. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Yeah, thank you. It's um, It's been good. I've enjoyed it so far. So two vlogs in and I think I'm going to keep going. <laughs> See you soon.